In the previous videos, we defined automorphism groups, and here's how we did it. We said, let's suppose we have some field extension, big K over little k. Given such a field extension, we're going to associate the set of automorphisms of big K, which fix little k to it. So we're going to associate this set of automorphisms to it. And the way we define this is to let it be the set of all automorphisms of big K, which leave little k fixed. So that is the set of all automorphisms of k, all automorphisms of big K, such that sigma A is equal to A for all A inside of little k. So in other words, we're looking at all automorphisms sigma of big K, which leave every element in little k fixed. So sigma has to restrict to the identity of little k. And remember, we found out that this guy, this set of automorphisms, the automorphisms of big K over little k, it wasn't just a set, it was actually a group. So that's how we define the group of automorphisms of big K over little k. That's how we define this guy. Okay, so we're pretty happy with that. Given any field extension big K over little k, we can associate to it some group, ought, of big K over little k. So we can associate the set of all automorphisms of big K, which leave little k fixed. And what we want to do in this video, so we want to do now, is to look at the subgroups I want to look at the subgroups of this group ought of big K over little k. Okay, so that's a natural enough thing to do. We had some field extension, we associated some group to it, and now we want to look at subgroups of that group. And what in particular we'd like to do is to take some subgroup of that group and pull a field out of it. We want to find some way of taking a subgroup of odd of big K over little k and producing some field, some field that depends upon that group. So here's what we're going to do. We'll make the following definition. Given the field extension big K over little k and given some subgroup H of odd of big K over little k, that's what this less than or equal than sign means. It means that H is not just a subset of ought big K over little k, but it's actually a subgroup. Then the field fixed by H is the set of all A and big K such that sigma A is equal to A for every sigma inside of H. So in other words, it's the set of all A inside of big K that are fixed by every element of H. It's the set of all A inside of K such that every single element of H leaves A fixed. Every single element of H leaves that A alone. We're looking at the set of all A such that that's true. So this object, um, maybe I should tell you first that it's often denoted. It's denoted by K with an H up here. So it's meant to sort of say, look at k and then look at everything fixed by h. Look at everything fixed by every element of h. That's what this notation is saying. So this object lives up to its name. It actually is a field. So this is not immediately obvious. It's not totally obvious that the field fixed by h is actually a field, or rather that the set of things fixed by h is actually a field, but it is. And you should take a moment and convince yourself of this to sort of check that it satisfies all the field axioms. But this is true. So it is true that if we're given any subgroup of odd of k over of odd of big k over little k, then the set of everything fixed by that group, the set of everything k h equals to this, which is the set of all things a inside of big k, which are fixed by every element of h, that's actually a field. Okay. Now, as a heads up, this guy is also really important. So, heads up. Heads up. KH is also important. And I'm saying also here because I said in the last video, in the last video I said that ought of big K over little K was a really important object. And now I'm saying that in addition, uh, this, the field fixed by H is also a very important object. So this is the set of automorphisms of big K over little k, and this is the set of elements fixed by H, or rather the field fixed by H. Both of these guys are important. 
and they're going to make up the different parts of the Galois correspondence. Okay, so all I wanted to do in this video was to find that guy, and we've done that. Now, in the next video, uh, we'll start putting this stuff together in order to build the Galois correspondence. But if you'd like something to think about until then, I would encourage you to think of what things like this look like. So remember, we had two field extensions that we've looked at so far. We've looked at C over R, and we've looked at R over Q. So what I would encourage you to do now is to think about what these fixed fields look like. So let's look at R ot of R over Q. So we're looking at the field fixed by ot of R over Q. And we should also look at the field fixed by ot of C over R. So think about what these two guys look like. Um, because this will become important later on. Or rather, we'll be building an example out of this later on. But it's good to start thinking about it now. It's always nicer to see things on your own without having them sort of presented first. Okay.